Okay, good morning. Um, this is for some of my friends at X-Plane 11. They've been asking me to do a video here on how to fix some tiles in Ortho 4 XP. Apparently, Ortho 4 XP doesn't like water for some reason. Um, there's a lot of issues with uh, missing textures on the water, like there'll be white squares and there'll be mismatched colors and and uh, I don't know why it does that, but but I got I figured out a way to fix it. It's a long and bald process, but it does the job. For instance, here's what I'm talking about. Here's a picture near Toronto. You see, we've got mismatched colors. We've got missing colors. Here's white squares. Half of Lake Michigan was missing. It took me six hours to fix it, but we're going to show you how to fix it. You need four programs, and um, they're all free. I'll give links when I post the video. I'll put links below, but you need Picture It, a paint program. I don't know if other paint programs will work, but I like Picture It because it's got a color matching option on it, so you can match colors. And you need a DDS viewer because all the, uh, all the uh, things we're going to fix in the uh, custom scenery ortho tile is in DDS. You got to be able to read it. So you need a DDS viewer, and then to to uh, to, to fix the tile, you got to convert it to a PNG because your paint program doesn't read DDS. It only reads reads like JPEGs and PNGs and stuff like that, bitmaps. It won't read DDS. So you got to convert it. The PNG to to fix it. So I've got a. You need a DDS converter to PNG, and then after you're done fixing it with your paint program, which you need, um, <clears throat> you got to convert it back to a DDS to put back into the sim. So you also need a PNG to DDS converter. So that's what we're going to do. You need those four programs: paint. DDS to PNG, PNG to DDS, and a D -D -D DDS viewer. Okay, now we know that those issues in this photo I took are near Toronto. Toronto's over to the right here. So we got to figure out what tile that is, right? In case we forgot. So what I do is I start up my Ortho 4 XP. Let's take a second here. Then I go to the map. You don't have to worry about anything. You're not making a tile. You're just trying to get a tile name. So you slide over to Toronto. Here's Toronto. Hold down the left shift key. Click. So all the issues that we were looking at in the screenshot are in this little square. There might be other issues here or even over here, but I'm not going to work on those those uh, tiles for now. I'm going to just work on this one. So what you do is you keep your hand off the shift key, just double click on it, yellow box, it tells you that's 43080. So we know what tile we want. Now we can close the ortho. We don't need it. We'll close the ortho. Now <clears throat> I'll open up my custom scenery. And I'll go through all my ortho photos. Tiles, well, there's thousands of them. I pre selected it, so we know we need this one 43080. So I'll click on it, and you got terrain and you got textures. All your issues are going to be in the textures. So you click on it now. When you click on it, I already got rid of them. There's going to be a whole bunch of PNG in here that I deleted. You don't need them, uh, they, don't, they don't do anything. Game doesn't read them. I don't know why you're, they're in there, but you'll see there's some PNGs. I got rid of them. So now what you want to do is these are all your textures in the game for that tile. So you got your viewer on your desktop to view what it is, what it looks like. You need that to read it. So you just double click on it. It's a little slow because my recorder's running, eh? And you see that tile's okay. So you, it's not that one. You click on the next one. This is a long and bald process. It took me six hours to do Chicago. 
not that one that's okay click on that one that's okay so you just keep going through them like that that's what takes all the time look at how many of them there are there's tons of them tons and tons and tons and tons and tons so you got to go through them until you find tiles with an issue and I pre-selected one um, two three nine six eight I just got to find it because then I know I got one that's two three nine six eight two eight eight two three nine six eight two eight eight so I found one that's got issues so I double click on this you see this is the lake here's some of the white tile that was missing here's some of the blue water here's some of the green water well the green water I found is the one that works best in the in the uh, lakes I don't know why but it does so I want everything to be this green color not this blue because it's a mismatch here between tile colors and then there's no color up here at all so okay that's the one we want so now what I do is I make a folder up here on my desktop and we just call that DDS DDS tiles. tiles now every time I find a tile here that's got an issue I just drag it out of here and I put it in there and I'm going through them as I go through them I drag them put them in there drag them put them they'll, they'll all pile up right you'll end up with a whole bunch of the bad tiles in there now I don't want to close this I'll just minimize it because we want to put the good tiles back in I've taken that tile out of this, right? So I got to replace it. So I'll minimize that. Now, you got that, you got a whole bunch of tiles in here, right? And the reason I made this folder is because I don't want to get any confusion. I only want to see one tile at a time that I'm going to work on. So let's say there's 20 of them in here. Well, I'll take this one and I'll put it on my desktop, right? I'm going to close that folder. And there'll be like, 19 or 20 more in there right so now there's no confusion I'm only working on one now to paint it I need to convert it to PNG so that's what this DDS converter is so I add that to this I add that DDS to my DDS converter to make it a PNG and I select PNG make sure you select PNG JPEGs and bitmaps and TIFFs I found they resize the tile. You don't want to do that. The PNG will keep it the same. So I convert it. You want to convert? Yep. Now it's converted it. So I can clop the... Then there it is. Finished. I can close this now. And here it is here. I'll move it up on the cloud so you can see it. See, that's the one there that came out of my custom scenery. And I've converted it to a PNG. Now this one here, we're going to convert this back to a DDS once it's fixed to put it back in the game, right? So it's going to come onto the desktop, so we'll end up with two of them here. And, and because there's two of them, it'll name this one B116-1 and the game won't read it. It's got to keep exactly the same name, so we got to get rid of the original. So I'll make another folder down here. I'll call it DDS Trash. I don't want to delete it yet because if there's issues I may want to keep the original right so we just hang on to it for the time being I missed it so it should be in there is it no I missed it again how can I do that where to go There, I got it in there that time. Lousy aim. Okay, now we're going to fix this tile. So now I don't have my picture on my desktop. I got it in my... I got to go PI for picture it. Open up my picture it. And here's what I like about picture it. When I open up this folder, this is the tile I'm going to fix. You see you got the green, you got the blue, and you got the white. Well, I want them all green because that's the color I want my water. 
I think it works best for the rest of the lake. It matches default too. So when you get an area where the, the tile ends and default starts, they're pretty closely matched. But I want to match this color to the rest of the tile. So what I do when I open up my freehand painting, I got my brush size set to max. Now I got to match that color. This is what I like about picture. You can match the color. You click on more color choices. And then you get this eyedropper, right? You pull the eyedropper over and you click on it. And it you can click on it a couple of times. And it, click on it three or four or five times until you find the one that seems the most stable. So there. So we, we match it so we can close that. These match up here. Now I pick pencil because it's a solid color. See if you pick if you pick a brush. Let's say you pick the brush. See it's faded on the side. You don't want that. You want a solid color. <coughs> solid color. See the difference? Okay, that's the color you want. See it matches this color down here. Pretty close. Pretty cl close enough that you won't notice it in the in the game. So I color the whole tile. So that, that's what we're doing. We're coloring the whole tile. And like I say, if you, you get some tiles where it's near the shoreline, you just color the water. You Like I say, any, you know, it's two-year-old can figure that out. You don't color the land. You just color the water. So, that's what I've done. Okay, I'm done coloring it. So I'm done coloring it. Now, you go to File to save it. And you save as. Because you want it to go back on the desktop. You see, here's the original that came out of the game with all the mismatched colors. So you save as that name. Because the name has to be exactly the same. See, it's still the same. Save as, yes. Close this picture. It and I have to find it where to go. I went up here. Save it. So there it is. So now we're going to convert that to a to a. DDS again to put back in the game. So then now you go to your easy to convert back to DDS. You select that off your desktop. There it is. Okay. Convert. Okay, done. Close that. And here it is right here. That's the new DDS all fixed without all them issues, right? So we don't need this anymore. We can delete that because th that is this in a DDS. Okay, we can delete that. We don't need it anymore. And this, you just drop back in your Ortho 4XP textures folder. And then she goes. And you've got to go through all of these. Like these hundreds. That's why it takes hours. It's, it's not a difficult process. But it's a long process. But for those that want to fix those issues, that's how you fix them. Hope this helps.